Today we're going to take a look at adding tables or spreadsheets to Versal Lessons. Our first example here is from Google Sheets. You need to publish this to the web first in order to make it uneditable by viewers. So I'm going to go to embed. I want to embed it. I don't want the link. I'm going to select sheet one. I'm going to publish this. I will be prompted to confirm. And now I'm going to get an embed code. So I will copy this embed code and I'll head back over to my Versal lesson. And I want to select the Google Docs gadget from the viewers section. So there it is there. Click and drag. And now I will remove this placeholder URL and replace it with my embed code. And just like that, I'm going to zoom out here for just a second. I actually zoomed in for the screencast. But this is actually what the real view will be from your learners. And here is our Google Sheet, just like that. They can scroll through here and see all the data in the table. So our second example is using Microsoft OneDrive. So I'm going to go over to my OneDrive account, which I have open here in another tab. I'm going to open my Excel Sheet. And we are going to see a big green share button. It's very enticing, but it is not where we want to go. We actually want to come to file and we want to select share from here because this is where you'll get an embed code. The other button does not allow us that option. So I'm going to go ahead and allow grid lines. I'm going to get rid of the ability to download a link or to provide a downloadable link. And then I'm going to go ahead and copy this embed code and we'll head back over to our Versal lesson. I'm going to click open here to bring the gadget tray back because it was closed from our last action here. Again, drag and drop the gadget. Again, get rid of the placeholder URL and paste in our URL. And there is our table, just like that. And same thing, you can scroll through it and view all of your data. Presented nicely and neatly. And that's it, guys. We will see you next week.